Hey beautiful people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm gonna do an initial impression on Al Haramain fragrance today, as you can see from title. And it's gonna be from the portfolio collection, Narrowly Canvas. This is very expensive <laughs> as far as my uh, sentiments go. I think this is rather the expensive fragrances, newer ones. Some of them are really, really expensive. They have one that is similar to uh, Erba Pura by Sospiro that is expensive, 75 mil. Goes for, I think around 160 to 180 dollars. Also, they have a Baccarat Rouge clone. That one also is very expensive for the clones. They are very expensive. And this one particular one is known for Tom Ford Neroli Portofino sort of clone. But this, I think, is a much better deal, even though it's expensive. And I'm going to explain to you why. And this fragrance I was not looking forward to buy. I heard good things about it. Some of my friends told me. Some of the reviewers really hyped it. And I think they are really good reviewers, good noses. So I have respect for them. So yesterday, Al Haramein opened their new branch in Dhanmundi, I mentioned to you before. It's called Shimanto Square, you know, near the Rifle Square, Shimanto Square, same. So they have a new shopping mall. It's called Shimanto Shambar. So previously, we used to go to JFP, Jumuna Future Park in Bangladesh, which is one hour away drive from me, my house. And uh, coming back is very hectic, a lot of jam and stuff. So it's not a very pleasant experience to go there every day. And I'm very happy they opened their branch. I was very excited because whenever there's a new shop or branch is opening, I actually get very excited. Uh, as a fraghead, I like to go and explore. So yesterday, I just want to go and see and then did a small video. I shared it with my group, Fragcom Bangladesh. If you haven't joined, please join my group. You can see the post there, scent of the day, other stuff, sales post. You can do a lot of chit chat with group members, get to know each other. So you can check it out, their new branch. It's not a very big one. The shop is relatively smaller. They took two shops together, but still it's a relatively smaller shop. And it was kind of like hectic yesterday because it was the opening. So I found, um, like I didn't want to stay there for a very long time. I just did the video, got my fragrance, got out. Uh, so they had a special promotion going on yesterday for the opening. I think first 25 people got 25% discount on any purchase. And uh, I bought this one and I regretted not getting the leather wood. I should have bought that as well. So anyway, uh, this fragrance, it's like it, people, many people are interested in this one. In my group, some people's brother said, uh, can you please do initial impression? So I gave it two wearings, okay? Based on that, I'm gonna let you know. Performance a little bit, smell, and is it really worth the money or who is it for rather? Pros and cons, okay? As far as I experience. So stay tuned. So first of all, Al Haramein is one house I have done quite a few reviews. You can check the link, I'll give you the search link. Uh, you can just go Al Haramein, Space, Joy, I mean, you can see all my Haramein reviews. So in recent times, I haven't bought that many, but they have some good ones. So here you go, big box. This is from the portfolio collection. It doesn't mention you are 75 mil or concentration, but it, I think it's EDP. Nice little design. It says Haramein since 1970s. Back, I mean, side, back, nothing much going on. Black, this is a normal paper box. And this one, they'll mention made in UAE, batch code and 75 mil. Uh, like the whole fragrances okay and it comes in only one size and i believe it's unisex so the second part of the presentation if you haven't seen it already which is i think what i wanted to show you today this box so if you have seen uh arabian oud they have excellent packaging like they have a safari safari extreme they have the oil they give you excellent packaging even the amiri uh one fragrance they also have fantastic packaging this is where your money is actually going at least a big portion of it this is full thing is leather, very soft, very nice. It feels like a wallet up there, very soft touch to it. It feels like also the armrest or rather the, you know, center console, uh, what you call where you rest your arm, feels very soft. And it's engraved here, P portfolio. This is uh, magnetic and it says uh, Aharamein 1970 since you open it, it reveals a nice sort of a very regal sort of presentation. So when you see, it has this nice cushioning inside. I really like it, it's like very nice. Uh, collectible item and once you open it this fragrance actually you can smell the fragrance from it is so strong you can smell it from the pouch and back also got this nice leather so i will be a little bit patient because i'm taking my time today uh, when i do full-on review i'll do it quick so you get this nice little pouch like mansera and montals but this is much more premium it's really leather i think okay and it has a nice little tag here you can close it so very nice touches makes sounds very nice and the bottle here, here is the bottle for 75 mil. They have a few others in the line. Uh, it's up to you how you look at the bottle. I think it looks nice, premium, heavy, heavy glass, thick, heavy glass base. And even though it's dark, you can see through the juice. It moves around, you can see through. So it's not all the way opaque. 
and the cap I would say harame uh, since 1970 this has good weight to it is metal sometimes it feels like a little bit like a magnet of some sort but it's not clicks onto place but not very secure do not pick it up by the cap because the bottle is very heavy and the front it has metallic uh, you know the what you, what you call that badge or whatever like in front sprayer looks like that so this one the bottle is kind of like azara chrome legend sort of shape so i'll tell you one thing for the price you pay i actually would prefer a little bit more premium bottle the bottle looks kind of it's heavy good quality but i have seen better bottles so the presentation wise i am not very happy with this bottle design okay the bottle doesn't look very premium to me but it's good quality and sprayer works so the fragrance i've been wearing in my hand for some time and let me tell you uh Nearly Portofino is a fragrance from Tom Ford. Their 50 ml goes for around 150, 160, sometimes above 200 dollars. In Bangladesh, around 200 dollars. So, in like opposed to that, it's like this 75 ml Haramein. It's costing you a little bit less. In Bangladesh, it's more like 150 dollars, 60 dollars. So you get 25 ml more for lesser price tag. So even though this is known to be a clone, I'll call it a clone because they actually copied that nearly Portofino. Uh, but uh, for the quality, as some other reviewers would tell you, this actually is much better quality than Neroli Portofino. I'll explain it to you. And I do love the note of Neroli. This is where you have to decide where your money goes. I will show you some fragrances I bought over time. I'm going to compare it right with Ferrari Bright Neroli, which is very inexpensive at this point, but very beautiful bottle. I prefer this over the Haramein bottle. I really wish this bottles would this bottle would look something premium like that. Then. That is a very inexpensive but doesn't last very long. Then I bought very expensive one was Neroli Sauvage. Not many people own it. I did put my money because I love this fragrance. You can see I used a lot of it and decanted some but most of it I use. Then some of the other Neroli based fragrances I would show you is Mugle Cologne. And uh, Versace Purum has a beautiful Neroli note. I have a lot more. I'm just showing you some. Then I believe Daniel's Icon has this nice Neroli with pepper kick. And then another premium one would be original vetiver, which is vetiver based, but it has this nice neroli, lemony sort of uh, up top. So now, should you be buying this? Is it as good of a quality? What are the strong sides? What are the weak sides? Weak side for me is it's too expensive, in my opinion. For the bottle, if it came it a little bit more premium, I wouldn't mind. But the packaging, someone makes up for it. So I believe if this fragrance they were selling for 85 to 90 dollars this would be a perfect pricing for this because it will sell like hot cake for 75 mil second thing is at this price point they could have made it 100 ml that's my second criticism uh, 100 ml for 160 dollars i paid a little bit less of course i got discount but many people most of the people will not get that discount so if it came in 100 ml that would make life a little bit more easier third one i would say criticism is the hal haramein i don't know about middle eastern countries in bangladesh it's a bit i'm not very happy with the customer service once i bought a bottle it was the bottle inside was i think it was very dirty it was a full-on bottle i don't know how it happened but i complained they didn't care so alharmin has this kind of like a body language in bangladesh that we don't want to sell you know we are here we're just making we have we're rich so that is the kind of like a wrong message they are sending if they don't, don't want to sell don't <laughs> promote you know but it's their business you cannot say anything so these are a few things i did not like uh, about this fragrance but here is the good part if you have been a fan of Neroli and you like Tom Ford Neroli Portofino but your pocket is itching you it's like should I be paying for $300 $400 for a Tom Ford Neroli Portofino 100 ml which lasts barely like two hours I'll tell you I have one more fragrance wait I forgot to bring you wait yeah sorry I'm a little bit uh, not organized today because we have been having some issues at home with the water supply and all that and there's some trouble lately so I'm not in the best frame of mind but here is other fragrance I want to show you 4711 Cologne you guys know this one I cannot say the whole name in Rush, uh, German it's a Ischtkosch I cannot speak German so you know 4711 Cologne this is the inspiration for Neroli Portofino which one is better made more niche like more refined a more greener a little bit herbaceous Tom Ford one and that one is really loved by the community in the summertime you know like daytime but the original credit goes to this one but the problem with any of these fragrances which are based on Neroli none of them are extremely long lasting because if Neroli is done properly if they make Neroli natural and they use good quality ingredients they're not supposed to last that long and you really have to know like how to make these fragrances work because 
if you don't have longevity and you're paying for premium pricing, people are going to be really disappointed. After a while, they're going to look for, they rather say, you know, I'll tell you. They will say, if Neroli Portofino gives me three to four hours, why not I buy, buy bright Neroli? It's $22, $25, maximum $30. And I get a full on 100 ml. I can get like multiple bottles. I can spray all day and I can get a, as good of a smell. It smells darn good. Very bright Neroli is one of my favorite cheapies. So personally, I am addicted to note of Neroli. You guys know it, you get got it by now. I like citruses, I like Aventus Cologne, I like Aventus, I like Mancera citruses. So as far as my taste goes, I think this is an absolute winner when it comes to the juice. Even though it's a 75 ml, despite that fact, I told you, I was very skeptical. I wrote it in uh, Fragrantica that I was very skeptical that I don't wanna pay so much for this fragrance, but I never tried it. So I never pass on a fragrance without trying it. So when I tried it from their tester, it smells so strong and it smells so natural. It's like tart, lemony, citrus, all the lemon, Amalfi lemon, whatever lemon is in it. It's like lemon and then that, that orange flower, orange blossom, I don't know, but it's kind of like Neroli, you can smell it. And I just love wearing it. And the thing is, best part is the 75 ml is gonna last you at least number of years, why? You do not need to shower in this like any of these other fragrances. Mugler Cologne, it lasts six, seven hours, but you need to apply like six, seven sprays, so, which is why I got a 300 ml bottle. So I don't have any regrets. Any of these fragrances, they're all great buys. I'm not saying this is gonna replace all of them, but this is the best among all of them, even better so than Creed's Nearly Sauvage. Why? Creed's Nearly Sauvage can get very weak, you know, like uh, if it's extremely hot and humid, Neroli Sauvage dies in like three hours. You cannot detect it anymore. It's very beautiful, very authentic, kind of like a bitter Neroli. This one is sweet. So there's this candied sort of vibe that comes like Mansara lemon line, if you can remember. It's sort of like candied lemon, right? But this one also has the sweetness aspect to it. So it's not as herbaceous or as grassy or green compared to the Neroli Portofino, which makes it more, I would say, appealing to the masses and the oil concentration very very good so you just go one spray on your shirt or chest one on your hand that's it enough that's all you need okay the spray let me show you is good spray i don't want to be stingy <laughs> you guys thinking no i don't want to spray i do it has i just missed half of the spray and when you pay premium it hurts <laughs> let's go yeah it can spray literally can spray a lot so this this initial spray that i'm gonna do this is gonna last on me easily ashton said i think he gets over five to six hours I got about seven to eight hours push for longevity. I can detect it, I can get the projection of two to three hours. So for a neroli based fragrance, if you get seven to eight hours push, in our country, this fragrance is gonna work, high heat and humidity. So if you wanna get the best, one of the best neroli based scents, yeah, here's where you put your money. But if you think, no, I'm good, I'm great with my creeds, I'm great with Migla Cologne, Versace, Ferrari, absolutely okay, okay? So I'm saying this is gonna be a split between two kind of people. Those who absolutely love the note of Neroli, I would say I smelled Neroli Portofino, okay, in Sterling. And I did not really get any performance or push out of it. No, zero <laughs> projection. You like it, it's high quality, but this is higher quality. So I would say in the end of the day, this one, I was not gonna buy it. Obviously, I was not gonna buy it because it's so expensive. I never buy 75 mil or 50 ml for this much price point, but for me, this juice right here, what you get in, the, in this particular perfume, this is something to desire. This is something to die for. Presentation is good, but I would still say if the juice was not good, the presentation wouldn't make up for $150, $60, right? So definitely go out there and haramein, spray it on your hand. If you have a local haramein or shop they're carrying this, try it. If you try it and you just put it on your skin and go out, walk around. Uh, see how long it lasts on the paper, how long it, you can sniff it. If you feel it's worth your investment, forget about the brand. Do not buy a brand. Buy a good product. Buy a fragrance that is worth it. You know, this fragrance should be what Tom Ford should give you. I'll not bash Tom Ford, but they came before this one. Even 4711 came before these ones, but uh, they are the originators. But this fragrance, if Tom Ford was selling $250 for 100 ml or 300 this is the juice they should give you, okay? So among all the ones that I tried, this is my number one nearly based scent at this moment. If I find something better, I'll let you know, but so far, quality, guys. Nothing synthetic, nothing off-putting, there's nothing everybody's gonna love the way you smell.
and with only one spray. So that's my review for today. Initial impression, a bit too long, but I just want to cover all the aspects. So I hope uh, people actually try it. Sometimes, yeah, you can get it for cheap, some fragrances, and you can be happy with it. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. And I, I would say proudly own Very Bright Neural. If you want to get taste of all these fragrances, I would say this one or Mugla Cologne. Either one you get, you're going to get also fantastic value. But the longevity wouldn't be there as much as Harama Indal. This is the longest lasting Neroli perfume, which is the most refined and most beautifully crafted as well as projecting fragrance. That is my conclusion on Harama Well done. But uh, reduce the price a little bit if possible, then many, many other people can buy it. Take care, guys. Have a very nice day. Thanks for watching. Sorry for a very long video after a very long time. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.